Welcome back. Tomorrow is Dia de los Muertos, a Mexican holiday where families remember and honor the ancestors they've lost. So today we're going to celebrate through food. Here with traditional Mexican dishes for the occasion is the executive chef at Casa Madera, Olivier Le Calvez. Welcome. Thank you, Lily. We're so glad to have you here. And so for those who are unfamiliar with Dia de los Muertos, can you tell us all about it? So we celebrate Dia de los Muertos by um, giving tribute to our ancestors or family or friends that pass away. And we make the favorite dishes and we bring, uh, we put an altar and we bring uh, their favorite alcohol, uh, like wine or it can be tequila, mezcal. And that's, we all gather families all together and we just celebrate the whole night. I love that. Okay, well, we're gonna, you know, get to sample a little bit of that in the dishes that you Absolutely. brought. These are traditional Mexican dishes. The first one is called Siquilpac. Siquilpac. Okay, what is it and how do you make it? Siquilpac is made with pumpkin seeds. We okay. toast them with onions and, uh, and we make a dip and onion and tomatoes, a little bit of chile banero, and it's kind of like the guacamole of uh, the Mayans. Okay. And you can dip it with, with the chips and just try it as an appetizer. All right. Okay, let's try it. So it's like guacamole. The guacamole of the Mayans. Oh, I love Never this. Never Okay. And everyone has pumpkin seeds, and if you don't, you should. You should have. So. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. How do you say excellent? Mm -hmm. Excelente. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop eating this. Next up, you have a chicken dish, and I'm sorry, I'm eating. I'm um, called mukbil pollo. What's the significance of this dish? So mulbi pollo means cook, uh, chicken cook underground. So we use a lot of uh, spices and we cover it with banana leaf and we cook it slower on the ground. So underground, okay, so how, can you explain the technique of cooking it underground? Is so it with, yeah. How far we, underground are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Not too deep, like two, let me, one meter. And then we make a big hole and put stones and uh, wood, we make a fire. And then we put in a pot the chicken covered with, on the, on the chicken we have banana leaves, mm -hmm. masa, that is uh, corn flour with the water, just make that, mm. as we make tortillas. And then we put the chicken, marinated, covered with more masa, banana leaves, and then cover with all the dust and everything and let it cook all, all the way through the all night. And then the next day we, we eat it. Excelente again. Gracias. Very, so, Gracias. so good. Now, okay, so. If I wanted to try this, I don't have an underground pit. So could you, how do you, how could you use like a, you know, in, in the oven to do this? So is like, it possible? Yeah, yeah it's very possible. We, like I did in, in, in my house, I did in, in the restaurant. So I got a big pot like I have here. I covered the bottom on, with the banana leaf. I put my mask on the bottom, then put the chicken, put the spices, the okay. sauce, and then just wrap it up, put it in the oven, 350 to 360. Let it cook for a while, like around, Three, four, um, maybe four hours, mm -hmm. take it out, let, us, let, let the steam come in out, and then you can open and serve it. It's so, like, a, you, like a, you create a pit with yeah. a yeah, pot. Yeah, you create a I pit love with a yeah. pot, yeah. Okay, masa is something that we use a lot in our household. We actually make uh, the tortillas flat um, from scratch, and this is not that hard. People like think it's really hard, but this, you've got like kind of a thickness to the masa, like the, the outside corn meat. Like how do you, is there some technique you do? It, that's kind of like, we call it like the tamal. The, it's tamale. the tamales. It's the same technique. So we just use the water and just use it with the hands and just spread it on on, on top, and that keeps all the moist on, on the, of the chicken inside, ah. and uh, the masa just help to seal mm. the, the, the 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 juices and then they come out. So, so everything's good. cooking. It. So are there other dishes? Is it tamales as well? Like that you would cook underground specifically? No, tamales are cook on the stove, but we we can cook it in the underground if you want. It's just gonna take forever and they're gonna. Well, but uh, we we cook uh, chicken, uh, pollo pibil, cochinita pibil, uh, chicken chick, and more and more in Mexico we have barbacoa. So the barbacoa is a barbacoa, lamb yes. cooked with with uh, mm -hmm. uh, cactus leaves that uh, maguey, and we cook it very long time, like about around 24 hours. And the next day we open it and we have the juices and everything we eat. So, well, that is what's amazing is that like chicken can go so dry and this is incredibly mm -hmm. juicy and you can tell that everything sort of all the flavors have stayed inside beautifully. Exactly. Okay, so next you have a dish called shek salad that you recommend for serving with the chicken, right? So yeah. tell us about the salad. So the salad is a uh, fresh fruit. Uh, normally it's from the south of Mexico, uh, from Yucatan. So we use citrus from, it's from Yucatan, like oranges, grapefruit, uh, tangerines, mm. and then mm. we have pineapple, uh, jicama, um, and a watermelon, and we just 
spread it with chili piquín or tajín, and a little bit of lime juice, orange juice, just to give a little more flavor. And that's it. The spice makes so much difference on, on, on top of the fruit. Also yeah, and the helps flowers. a little bit to cut oh, the yeah. fat of, of the chicken so yeah. well, everything is there, yeah. Can we talk about this, which is the jicama? Oh, jicama, I love jicama. What, uh, so it's, it, it's kind of like a neutral almost, I'm not, t like, what, how would you describe the flavor and what, like, what, what are other ways you could use it? So, it's, yeah, it's very neutral, uh, neutral flavor. Uh, we can, you can slice it in rounds and then make, like, tacos, uh, like, cold tacos, or you can, we use it a lot in Mexico as a salad for the kids. We use, we put some uh, Valentina chili or more, or more uh, uh, piquín and, and lime juice. Uh, or you can use it for dip your guacamole. Oh, oh. dip your guacamole. It, it, it has a little bit of the texture of an apple. Yeah. But it's like an yes. apple without yes. the flavor of it. So you, I, I could literally use this instead of a chip if I wanted to. It's yeah, a really nice crunch to it too. Hick Good idea. Oh. Thank you so much, Thank Chef Olivier. Thank you very much. We are so appreciative that you came here to share your delici delicious food with us. And viewers at home, we want you to know, we want you to try these dishes too. So get your phones out, open up the camera, and use it to scan the QR code on your screen right now to get the recipes right. Hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.